We're living in kind of scary times. Plastic production is out of control and is causing serious issues for our planet. 93% of plastics are produced using fossil fuels, which has terrifying implications for climate change. The consequences for the abundance of plastic on Earth also extends into our oceans. Eight million pieces of plastic find their way into the ocean each day, culminating to 18 billion pounds of plastic being dumped into the ocean each year. A lot of these plastics are microplastics, tiny pieces that are being sucked up and absorbed by marine life. Bigger pieces are causing havoc and destroying habitats too. By the year 2050, it's estimated that there will be more plastic in the ocean than there are fish by weight, and if you join us in today's video, we'll have a first-hand look at what this means as we talk about 15 unfortunate things caused by plastic in the ocean. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. Sad Turtle When I first saw this image of a snapping turtle, I figured it had to be photoshopped. It is crazy, right? The image is so extreme that there's no way I thought this could happen in real life, but it turns out that this is a real turtle. This is Mae West, a snapping turtle that was found around 25 years ago in a drainage canal in New Orleans. At the time, she was an itty-bitty hatchling and when she crawled through a plastic milk jug ring, she couldn't get out. It became stuck around her middle and she then grew around it. She's now permanently deformed by the plastic and has a freak hourglass shape. Mae was rescued by Debbie Pearson who raised the animal and helped to share her story. May was later transferred to a care facility called Eco Station, where she serves as a living reminder of the damage plastic ocean pollution can cause. Another turtle called Peanut, because of its shape, suffered the same fate as May after also meeting a plastic milk jug ring. It goes to show that the incident was not singular and that a lot of creatures are becoming injured, deformed or worse because of what humans are creating and throwing away. Turtles are such great and beautiful creatures that should live long lives. We have to do better to protect them. Number 14. Whale in the 80 plastic bags. Whales have been around for 50 million years and were doing pretty well until humans showed up. Not only have we hunted some species of whales to near extinction, our human habits are affecting whales hunting patterns and habitats. In June of 2018, a pilot whale was found in trouble in a canal in southern Thailand. The male whale was found unable to swim and in distress by locals who attempted to rescue the creature. As people in the Songkhla province were trying to care for the whale, it vomited up five plastic bags. Sadly, the whale soon passed away and a further 75 bags were found in its stomach during the autopsy. The bags, weighing 17 pounds, made it impossible for the whale to digest other food. It's said that at least 300 marine animals die in Thailand each year after ingesting plastic. Less than a year on from the tragic incident, a Cuvier-beaked whale was found washed up in the Philippines having died of dehydration and starvation. The creature was found to have 88 pounds worth of plastic bags in its stomach, which equates to hundreds of bags. Number 13. Hermit Crab Lego Hermit crabs are fantastic creatures. They're scavenger crustaceans that live in stolen shells. Usually, they live in mollusk shells, but sometimes they get confused. You may have seen cutesy images of hermit crabs occupying pieces of Lego. Legoland in the UK have a hermit crab called Harry who lives happily in the toy blocks. But in the wild, hermit crabs are confusing plastic for shells, and it's killing them. In the Cocos Islands in the Indian Ocean, it's been estimated that over a half million hermit crabs have been killed as a result of plastic pollution. The reason for the mass demise is because the crabs release a chemical signal when they die that tells fellow crabs that a shell is available. This is a problem because crabs have been getting stuck in plastic containers, dying, releasing the chemical, and inadvertently inviting fellow crabs to meet the same fate. It's a deadly chain reaction that was once a useful part of evolution, but is now a death sentence for the crabs. In other parts of the world, hermit crabs are finding unsuitable plastic homes where they also get stuck and starve. Number 12. Kayaker Hero There is no animal more adorable than a baby seal. 
There, I said it. If you think I'm wrong, then I'd love to hear what you find cuter. In 2019, a kayaker based in Namibia released GoPro footage of himself saving baby seals trapped in plastic netting. The first video shows the do-gooder running down the beach to rescue a troubled seal, whose face is all caught in the mesh. The second video shows an injured seal with netting around its neck. Both seals are cut free and released. The video has had over 57 million views on YouTube. My favorite part of the video is when another seal jumps on the kayak to say hi. Seals are so great. This is the problem though, because seals are so playful and pure, they get curious and explore things like nets in the water. They end up getting tangled and many suffocate as a result. Seals are at major risk from the rise in plastic pollution in the ocean. It isn't just general plastic waste that's the problem. Each year, 640,000 tons of lost and abandoned fishing equipment threaten sea life. Number 11. Destiny the Poor Beagle Shark I know sharks can be scary to some, but they deserve a normal, healthy life without human interference. Unfortunately, that isn't always what they get. In July 2019, a seven-foot-long poor beagle shark was spotted off the coast of Maine in a bad way. Researcher and scientist James Sulakowski of the University of New England spotted the shark and immediately knew something was wrong. It seems that the shark had a piece of plastic lodged around its gills, appearing to be the type of plastic from a commercial fish bait box. Sulakowski estimated that the shark became trapped in the plastic in its youth and grew around it. Luckily, the female shark was freed, although she did look quite badly injured. The scientist claimed she likely would have died had he not rescued her. The research team named the poor beagle shark Destiny, as they believe she looks like a fighter. They tagged her to track her recovery and have given updates on her healing. Poor beagle sharks are threatened and vulnerable species. Number 10. Octopus in a Cup in April 2019, a video went viral of an octopus stuck in a plastic cup. Diver Paul Sigurdsson was swimming in Lombe, Indonesia in December of 2018 when he came across the sad sight of a coconut octopus stuck in a single-use plastic cup. Coconut octopuses usually take up shop in a coconut or clamshell, but this confused octopod had got it wrong. The video, watched by over 11 million people, eventually shows the octopus getting free and switching to climb inside a shell with some encouragement from the diver. Icelandic engineer and diving enthusiast Sigurdsson said in an interview that he is no stranger to seeing octopi making homes out of trash. He claimed that the worst thing he's seen in the ocean is a family of anemone fish living next to a corroded battery. That is a sad sign of the times, isn't it? Number 9. Q-tip seahorse. Cotton swabs with plastic stems are a major problem and a contributing factor to the fight against unnecessary single-use plastic. If they don't end up in a landfill from people throwing them in the trash, they end up in the ocean from people flushing them down the toilet. Photographer Justin Hoffman captured an image of a tiny estuary seahorse clinging on to a plastic pink cotton bud. The image was snapped underwater near a reef off the coast of Sumbawa Island in Indonesia and posted to Instagram, where it now has over 36,000 likes. The caption poignantly reads, It's a photo that I wish didn't exist, but now that it does, I want everyone to see it. What started as an opportunity to photograph a cute little seahorse turned into one of frustration and sadness as the upcoming tide brought with it countless pieces of trash and sewage. The seahorse drifts along with the trash day in and day out as it rides the currents that flow along the Indonesian archipelago. This photo serves as an allegory for the current and future state of our oceans. What sort of future are we creating? How can your actions shape our planet? Hoffman's image went on to be nominated for Wildlife Photography of the Year Awards in 2017 and was showcased across the world. It serves as a quiet but affecting visualization of the effect of human waste on marine life. Number 8. Seal and the Cops In January 2019, two police officers were videoed on a beach in Washington state. The officers helped to rescue a seal who was found trapped in plastic from what appeared to be a fishing net. Sergeant Kyle Watson cut through the net as his partner, Chris Elia, helped keep the animal safe. The poor animal was badly tangled in bright green plastic netting and almost certainly would have died. Sergeant Watson told Seattle King 5 News that he was responding to a life and death situation as there was no way the seal would have kept surviving. He also said, I just hope there's someone there to cut me loose when I need it. 
that's what we're all hoping. Although the irony of humans being the ones to save the seal as well as being the creatures responsible for getting it stuck in the first place is not lost. Number 7. Dolphin Dance How do you thank somebody for saving your life? Be honest, is your first answer perform a dance for them? No? Well, it was for this baby dolphin. In 2013, fishermen rescued a baby dolphin off the coast of Sao Paulo when it was found struggling in a plastic bag. The sweet little baby dolphin was caught in a net and brought on board the fishing boat where workers were able to rescue and release it from its trap. The small calf was then returned back to the ocean. The rescue was caught on camera and has had over 800,000 views. The baby dolphin then gives a little squeal and a jump as it waves and dances for its rescuers. Heartwarming stuff. As happy as that video makes me, I'm sad that there must be way more dolphins caught up in plastic in the ocean that we aren't always able to rescue. Number 6. Loot Resin By this point in the video, maybe you're feeling pretty bummed about plastic in the ocean. And I feel you, I am too. We should be, it isn't okay. One good thing happening right now is Loop Industries. Loop Industries works to upcycle plastic to make it sustainable and reusable. At the moment, plastic waste takes around 1,000 years to break down and is creating a lot of major problems on land and in the ocean. Traditional plastic recycling takes a lot of additional energy, making it pretty unsustainable. Loop takes piles of shredded plastic and clothing and turns it into bottles using a more energy-efficient depolymerizing process. The Canadian company aims to reduce greenhouse gases and end single-use plastic by creating a circular economy. The process is complicated, but the company simplifies the explanation of what they do by saying that they deconstruct cheap chocolate cake, returning it to its original elements example, eggs, butter, sugar, chocolate, flour, and then reconstructing a new cake that can be eaten again and again. I don't know if that analog helps you understand it any more than you did before, but I sure like talking about cake. Number 5. Indonesian Manta Ray In 2019, shocking footage emerged of manta ray swimming through an ocean of trash in Bali. Usually, the Indonesian island is a major draw for divers who flock to the area for crystal clear waters, but these days, they aren't looking so pristine. Indonesia is the second largest contributor to ocean plastics in the world, after China, and researchers have discovered that manta ray are badly affected. Ray are filter feeders, which means they swallow what they encounter, but unfortunately right now they're encountering a lot of plastic. Researchers were able to calculate the amount of plastic they're likely ingesting by measuring the average volume of water passing through their open mouths as they feed. During Indonesia's dry season, it's estimated that the rays are consuming four pieces of plastic per hour, but in the wet season, they're consuming a shocking 63 pieces per hour. Manta ray are threatened species and this latest development has caused concern about their continued demise as a species. Bali is becoming overwhelmed by tides of plastic pollution along its beaches and its coastline. The good news is that the government of Indonesia has pledged $1 billion to clean up their act. By 2025, they aim to have reduced marine plastic waste by 70%. Number 4. Seagulls and Plastic Bags Plastic bags are causing major issues with seagulls. A few shocking images have surfaced that have really hammered home the dangers seagulls face when they encounter man-made waste. Over in Canada, a sad but incredible photo was taken by Michael Windsor, who captured a seagull trying to fight off a predatory bald eagle while it was trapped in a plastic bag in Newfoundland. He also captured the seagull in flight with the black plastic bag trailing behind the creature. The world's lakes and beaches are becoming severely littered with plastic trash. While some seagulls get caught in the debris, other confused animals try to eat it. Number 3. Whale Diets So why do animals eat plastic in the first place? Don't they know it isn't edible? No, they don't. A lot of whales are deep divers, but plastic has been found in the deepest part of the ocean, the Mariana Trench, which suggests it's everywhere. Whales have to return to the water's surface to breathe, making time-sensitive deep dives for food. If they don't get enough actual food when they dive and eat plastic instead, they begin to starve. That is one of the reasons whales are dying from plastic in the ocean. But of course, there is the physical damage the plastics are also causing them as well. They're unable to digest them and they clog up their insides. 
Unless we reverse the dumping of plastics into our ocean, the alarming trend of whales washing up dead and filled with the stuff will keep on rising. Sky Ocean Rescue is investing in plastic alternatives and working to raise awareness of the issue. In 2017, they created a 32-foot whale out of plastic and sent it on tour to beachside locations to serve as a visual symbol of how real whales are suffering from ocean pollution. Number 2. Albatross Ingestion Albatross birds are beautiful creatures, but they're under threat from plastic. These birds skim the water hunting for seafood but accidentally pick up plastic which they feed to their chicks. Adults are able to regurgitate some of the plastic, but their chicks are helpless and often die. BBC Earth visited Hawaii, where a student was examining all of the plastics found in the stomachs of the albatrosses and the haul is pretty shocking. One albatross swallowed a chunky inkjet cartridge. If there's ever a silver lining to be found at all here, 88% of people who watch the BBC series Blue Planet have claimed it's changed the way they live their lives. Number 1. Whale Shark Will the whale shark be the first marine animal to go extinct as a result of ocean plastic pollution or have some animals already died out as a direct result that we don't know about yet? One of the largest fish on the planet, the whale shark, is at risk of extinction as a result of ocean plastic. Whale sharks are already endangered, but part of their migratory pattern takes them through island waters through the island of St. Helena between South America and Africa. The waters are inundated with plastic from two major neighboring continents. With a very small human population of 4,500, there aren't any major cleanup efforts in the area, meaning the plastic simply builds up. Plus, it isn't even the islanders' waste in the first place. One piece of plastic was found every 10 feet on the island back in 2003, but that was 17 years ago and the amount of plastic being dumped into the ocean has majorly increased. The filter feeding sharks measure up to 62 feet, so are sizable creatures. Unfortunately, it seems that they're mistaking plastic in the water for plankton and are sucking up the pollution. At the moment, there are just over 7,000 whale sharks left in the world, with their number continuing to decrease. Well, guys. That was the 15 unfortunate things caused by plastic in the ocean. I know that was kind of depressing in parts, but actually I found that this was very insightful. I learned so much about what we're putting into the ocean and what animals are affected by our actions. What did you guys think about this list? What did you learn? Let me know in the comment section below. Did you learn as much as I did? What did you think was the most unfortunate thing caused by plastic in the ocean? Will you be changing the way you use plastic? I know I will.